What's up, people? The race tournament got a ton of attention and I was absolutely flooded with entries and... Oh, yeah. Right. Maybe I should do more clickbait. Uh, <clears throat> well, I can comment the video for a chance to win an Xbox. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> maybe not. But I understand that... Uh, it is easy to make something go fast. I mean, Devil's Advocate made a car that could go 700 meters per second, but had never heard of such advanced concepts like braking or turning. Bongo's car did, and while it too had a propulsion package ripped straight out of a fighter jet, it was the size of the Titanic and had similar problems with avoiding obstacles, you know what I mean. Capicot built a thruster craft that could turn really well thanks to some breadboard magic, which I just cannot understand. But unfortunately, uh, they never completed the full three laps. So out of the people who actually did complete three laps, fourth place goes to Inventor, who uh, unfortunately provided no video, but uh, his little uh, moped here did uh, uh, one minute and 40 second. Third place goes to Evil's car which is powered by a mass driver and custom jet engines, obviously. You could just see it firing uh, there right at the start. Uh, he will use it again soon. It unfortunately uh, also has the maneuverability of a brick uh, and its uh, standard speed is relatively slow, capping out at 115-120 meters per second. But he can use the mass driver for a fast temporary boost to about 220 meters per second, so a hundred meters per second boost. That's a really, really clever idea and I really love it and I think it has a ton of potential for future races. Uh, I'll get back to that later. Um, for those people of you who don't know what a mass driver is, it's basically a cannon shooting um, graviton ram projectiles, which do a ton of... Uh, have a ton of impact force so it pushes the target uh, away. So and in this case the target and the cannon are both on the same vehicle. They are uh, on his car. So every time he fires, uh, his car uh, from, from, not from the recoil but from the impact gets a massive boost forward. I really love that uh, he went for this unconventional design. Unfortunately uh, he could have used some more uh, thrust and uh, I think he relies solely on wheels for turning and uh, I think he could have profited from having some turning thrusters in some way. But yeah, there we go. One minute and four seconds. That's his pretty good time. So in the end, uh, the battle for first and second spot would be held between myself and Xander. But before we look at uh, it, let me uh, introduce you to my car real quick. It is based off the Landskiff, uh, which is a design I used in a previous tournament. It has a single jet engine in the back uh, that uses a thrust vectoring for control. I removed the turret, uh, made the jet a lot bigger. Uh, however, it got stuck on jumps, so I added wheels. Uh, also, cars tend to flip on sharp corners. Despite having a massive wheel base, mine was very unstable in corners too, so I added some down thrusters and some turning thrusters for better turning, obviously. <laughs> so there we go, our finalist. Xander's Thrustcraft versus my race car. And we're off. Straight away I take a big lead with my insane power to weight ratio. I have great acceleration and can uh, jump to top speed very quickly. But Xander is very quickly behind me and on this jump I lose quite a bit of time and Xander is uh, far ahead of my, me. He has built up a little bit of lead already. And uh, that lead is only going to uh, keep growing because I lose time over the jumps, which he can just ignore. 
is way ahead of me. Uh, like I said, my biggest strength is the great power to weight ratio. I can accelerate very quickly out of the turns. However, on the straights, uh, I just uh, lose way too much time. And yeah, I don't think I can catch up to Xander now anymore. And he threw the gate at 50 seconds and I am just one or two seconds behind him. And so that is a very, very close victory to Xander with just over one second ahead of me. Unfortunately, both cars cap out at 150 meters per second because that is the hard-coded limit to uh, custom jet engines. And unfortunately, from the drive service, no way of exploiting it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so naturally, I built a car that can go almost twice that speed. Fun fact. If you turn jet controllers around, but keep the uh, the rest of the, the jet engine in place, uh, you just completely skip this limit because the controller thinks that the car is going backwards. It will probably be fixed in the ne next patch, because why would a car go faster if you build the engine backwards? I'll have to be really fast commenting this because the race is going to be over so quick. So I gave it two modes, uh, idle and uh, boost. On idle it runs at only 5% engine power and on boost it just jumps to 100% which I use right here to skip through the jump. Um, idle has a max speed of roughly 150 meters per second, boost has 250. And I can skip through these jumps because the car is now going so fast that the collision lines are starting to uh, be messed up and I can clip through the ground. I could have built a zero drag version out of this, however, I kind of like to slow down because that thing is uncontrollable enough as is and having a thing that just uh, refuses to break uh, just wouldn't have ended well. Unfortunately, the clock broke there at the end, but my total time was exactly 42 seconds, so uh, that's my current standing record. So if you think your car can beat even that, feel free to join us on the Discord. I think Xander might have a chance if he uses Capicot's uh, genius breadboard and implements it into his own thruster craft, as well as turning the jets around and maybe add a uh, mass driver, because why not? And then maybe he uh, will be able to, uh, to beat me, because uh, the car just uh, the car's biggest, biggest weakness is the ground gets incredibly unstable. In this video I'll try to uh, do a bit more entertainment and less tutorial, like less how to build a race car. Uh, let me know how you liked it. I'm starting slowly to get a bit used to uh, this whole YouTube stuff, even though I'm really not used to talking to myself in front of my screen. That still feels really weird. Thank you so much for watching and see you around.